Hi everyone, it's Sue. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing this e-file from Amazon um, to let you guys know if you should buy it or not. And they're not paying me to do this, so this is going to be a very honest review. So yay, let's get into it. So this is the box that it comes in, um, very standard, regular type of box that file would be in. And this is what everything looks like as soon as you open the package. And so we have the handpiece stand, which is in the shape of a teddy bear, which is super cute. I've never seen that before. And then it's cool because it opens up and it has um, some storage for your e-file bits that you can put in there. So that's kind of cool too. Another thing I liked about this e-file was that it actually came with a freaking plug to, to charge your file with. Not even Apple does this, so I think this company deserves some kudos <laughs> for that. To test the e-file, I'm going to be um, fixing or removing the polish from one of my nails. And then I'm going to use my own e-file bits because I think we all know that the e-file bits that come with these Amazon e-files are not the greatest. And I'm going to use a carbide bit for that. I also want to, in the next clip, just show you how loud the e-file can get. So the e-file is not that loud, which I thought was pretty nice too, because who wants this loud ass buzzing noise, <laughs> you know? And so um, I'm going in with my uh, carbide bit to remove the gel polish on my nails because I have a gel manicure on and I think that the file removes the gel polish product really well I'm using my left hand to work and I'm right-handed so I am moving a bit slower than I normally would but I think for this part I mean it wasn't bad I, d I had turned up the uh, speed to about 20 or 20k rpms which I thought was a good speed to remove the product. And I think, yeah, I think the e-file did a, a pretty decent job with this part of it. I'm also gonna test out how, it, how well the e-file works on removing acrylic products because acrylic is harder than gel manicure products. So I think when I do that, that'll really put the e-file to the test and kind of give you all an idea of how strong uh, this e-file really is. But as for removing gel polish, um, I think the e-file does a pretty decent job with that. So after using the carbide bit, I really wanted to test um, how well the e-file works using sanding bands and cuticle bits, because um, you, you typically use those at like a slower speed. So um, for the sanding band part, yeah, it did, I mean, it did a good job. It's not anything that I was expecting that wouldn't work. So using the sanding band at about, what was this, 7K RPMs. Yeah, I mean, it, it did what it needed to do. Same thing with this, uh, what is it, my cylinder diamond bit um, to really get into like the corners of my nails and stuff. Having the e-file on a slower speed and a, and a diamond bit, it still worked really well and it did what I needed it to do. I think this e-file works really well when you're doing things um, on the natural nail, like removing product or prepping your nails. Uh, yeah, I think this e-file is really good for that. So moving on to the acrylic nails. Um, again, removing the gel polish with this e-file um, was perfectly fine, but I found that removing the actual acrylic product became more difficult, even on the highest speed, which was 35K RPMs. I just felt that it wasn't strong enough uh, to remove the acrylic product with. So I did end up switching over to my uh, Koopa e-file, which is what I normally use. And again, with the Koopa e-file, removing acrylic pro uh, product is super easy. It, it just comes, it just like comes off like butter. Um, so I do think that using the more higher end or expensive e-file would be, be a better solution uh, to use when re you're removing acrylic products. Um, so final thoughts will be that this Amazon e-file, I can't pronounce the name, I'm sorry, but the Amazon e-file would be best for at-home users or people that just do their nails themselves at home. 
Um, I don't think this would last, this file would last very well in like a nail salon setting or a full-time nail salon setting. I think you'd be better off getting uh, a higher quality e-file, but that's it for me today. Hope this review was helpful and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!